Welcome back to Paper Mario on the Millennium Door. In the last episode, we did all of these side quests up to this point. But right after Chapter 4, the Dupless Holy Bejeebus with our name still on. In this episode, we're heading off to the Millennium Door because we have stuff to give to the door. Because the door is very needy. <laughs> I, I, I keep after bringing stuff, man, and it just keeps wanting more stuff. I don't know what to do about this. I think it has a problem. So in this episode, I'm actually sitting down for once. This is kind of awkward for me, because I'm used to just standing up and doing this. We can finally break down that block, but there's actually a little secret that we can get with Ms. Mouse right here. Well, she's going to tell me anyway. You can get this at any time. Pretty lucky badge! Yay. <laughs> Yay! All right. So now we are off to the Millennium Door, and I will show it what I brought it today. Here's my sweet! You shall have this new gift. It's a priceless new gem. I hope you like it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what kind of thing you will show me this time, oh magical map. Where am I going now? Please be close by. Please be like right, like right behind one of those pillars or something. That'd be so awesome. I wouldn't have to go anywhere. Pretty neat. Okay. Location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map again. Why do you keep reading this out loud? I don't know, narrator. We must move quickly, love. Let's go to the professor's office. Quick as a wink. We have to speak to him of Princess Peach's email. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Get the camera back out. <laughs> this ought to be good. What? 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 Eh, not as good as the first one, but eh, it's, it's like, video worthy, I suppose. Did the dad was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon? And those fiends who want to use the power of the Crystal Stars are trying to res resurrect it? And I'm kind of trying to recap everything that you previously already known? How oh, bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem that to be inconsistent with what consistent with what I've undiscovered. It's also inconsistent. I don't know how that works, but I'm gonna pretend like it does. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, we're waiting, Professor. What did you find out? This is rather long, so you best listen well. Are you all of you ready? And you there, in front of the computer monitor. You listen, listen up, too. On the way, if you're really persistent like that. If you have this really awesome way that I can play videos, I, I really want to see that. You strange, strange man. What did that mean? Never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. Hi, yo bat, jeez. The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood on this very area. It also says that seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. Just like the majority of bad people. Yay, it's no different. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. Well, I wonder who the four heroes were. They Were they the Power Rangers? Dang, man. No, wait, there's like five of those. Huh. But only the beast's physical form could be destroyed. Its spirit could be not be eradicated. How the hell did you do that? So the heroes used the crystal stars, which they stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil bat beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gather that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. They're like blind. So if they are all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who, those who wield the crystal stars determine if they are used for good or evil. Well, the way I see it, it may be entirely the wrong idea to collect all these things. Why, someone could just steal all the crystal stars from us and resurrect that demon. I feel as though the best course of action might be to st destroy them utterly or give them to me. That way I can sell them on the black market like the thief I am. That was my first thought, too, but for the research suggests that we can't do that. Mostly because I said it. There's slightly possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. Oh boy. It seems the Crystal Stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. 
So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the doors sh sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? No, that's just typical Mario luck right there. The fact that those goons may want the stars now may be co may may be coincidence. Blah. I cannot talk, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the exonauts fail. So even if the exonauts fail, we'll probably be screwed because these demons gonna destroy the world either way. If we don't collect the crystal stars. I thought you said if the crystal stars are collected, then the demon will be resurrected. But what if we just don't do anything at all? Huh? The world's fine. Everything's in balance. We're destroying the world by collecting these things. Why the hell are we doing it? Oh my, I suppose we better shake our tails and find the other crystal stars. We don't have tails except I do. See, I'm special compared to you guys. I'm a thief. Tell me, Professor, where is the next one located? That way I can go get it. Hmm. According to this map, it appears to be somewhere on Key Hall Key. That sounds like Key Lime Pie. I wonder if it tastes good over there. I'm none too familiar with this place, but I've heard countless unsavory rupas. Yeah, yeah, because it probably tastes bad over there. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits, full of hatred, or evil curses, things like that. Yay, sounds like a great tropical vacation! I'm sure the sea salt down by the harbor knows more. You should head there first. So, some of the people down by the harbor should know more. There's the atomic boo, but there was no duplice in there, so you can assume what that means. If you don't know what that means, you should obviously watch more episodes. Shameless advertising! Okay. So, heading off to the harbor, we have to co talk to some old sea dogs about their grimy tails and the old deep about how their legs hurt and... Oh my god, they took my eye after I was trying to hunt a whale, so it's my own fault, but I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm gonna pretend like it's its, uh, it's fault. Blech. No matter how much I work, I never get any easier for me. You know what I mean? No. There got to be a way to go poof, get rich, you know? Poof! I don't know about going poof, but, uh, you know. Oi, you, with the mustache. What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Right then, ask me anything. I'm an ens I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I answer anything. Why are you blocked in front of that toad? That's my first question. Oh, key how key? Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from a pirate king. Wait, Goldie Rogers in this game? What? You got any info? See that ship, Doctor? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He, he don't sell too often, though. Mercifully, he hangs out Podley's joining plaza. So, there's a ship right out here. Oh my god, when did this get here? Holy crap, it's colorful. It's green and blue, and oh my god, I love this ship. I'm king of the world! Yes, baby! I'm finally fulfilling my dreams. Oh yeah. This is an awesome ship. I want it. I'm gonna see if that Flavio, Flavio by the plaza is willing to sell me this vessel. That way I can go to Key Hall Key. Mostly because I really just want the ship, honestly. I don't care about going to Key Hall Key. I just want that boat, man. I want That way I can sing the song. I'm on a boat, mother effing, I'm, mother effing, but I'm on a boat. Yeah, baby. Okay. So if you want to go talk to Flavio, you gotta go into the inn over here. And he's over in this bar, drinking away his poor ass, trying to forget about all the misery of, of his life. And what do you want, ah? Uh? Who, me? You ask about? Ah, I'm called Flavio. I am, how you say, a trader, the richest man in Roadport. Monterey wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. Well, you have great standards. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more? Ah? What is missing from my life? The tears of my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Romance, definitely. I'd say emotion. Probably thrills. Money, maybe. I choose E, all of the above. But uh, since that's not an option, I'm going to go with thrills. Thrills, you say? Ah, uh, I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There's nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain, shivering to death. I think he, that definition just went right soaring over your head. Ah, uh, no, foolish child, Flavio. Not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills. Wait, hold the horses. That's it! Oh boy, he's come to a realization that he's a complete idiot. Now that I'm thinking of it, I have once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that's just shrieks of romance, thrills, and emotion, and even money! Okay, you got... You got you're losing it. You got the scurvy, I think. I think you got the scurvy. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure? Hidden on key or key? Goldie Roger is on a key line pie. What? 
Ah, uh, well, Tails says that the Pirate King Cortez... Uh, Goldie Roger! Goldie Roger! Hit his horde of pirate booty there. He hit his butt there, what? For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there and searched for the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. Now you're tingle? Quit changing alibis! First you're a, first you're a captain of a ship, now you're tingle? What the frig? People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Eek! It's because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Key Hall Key. Huh. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is here, there. Yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trade of extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. Um, can we go along? What is that you're saying? You are also looking for a treasure. Here in Rogueport? Yep. Some kind of golden star thing I'm a bobber. Why well, took such craziness? There isn't thing, anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. And you cannot be, be believing each stupid rumor about treasure that each some street urchin spews out. Well, Mario tends to believe in people like that, you know. No, 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 no! Yes, I can. Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? W well, hand it over! Uh, rather, I mean, uh, show it. Here you go, you bippy. You're having to you're having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Key Hall Key! You swine! You meant to steal my treasure from out of my under me! You awful, awful man! Well, you sound like a woman right now. Dude looks like a lady! Well now I'm confused. You are looking for things known as crystal stars? Yeah. yeah. But now I'm thinking, the star safe shown was said to be on Cortez's hoard. Bingo, that's our ticket right there. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... No. Ah, uh, stop such thoughts, Flavio. Oh, great. Now he's referring to himself in third person. The scurvy's getting to him. No! What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. Don't forget riches. And no, I, I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Key Hall Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes. But the rest of the treasure is mine. Okay, then we have a deal. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? No, we don't. We're, we're poor. We're the poor man of the society. <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. We actually already saw it, but, uh, you know, Mario, I'm going to pretend like you know exactly what you're doing. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let's begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger, adventure, tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. And so he takes that red skull of his. I have no idea what that is. It looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Eh, I'm just going to tell you little bippies out there to remember that red crystal skull thing because it actually plays a little bit of importance later on. So, remember that. Remember. Remember. Okay, so let's go over to the docks that way we can see Flavio's ship that we already saw, but we're going to pretend that we did because, uh, you know, we just like to con keep consistency in the story. Ah, yes, so it is you, ah. Uh, well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. Always the problems in Mario's life. Why? But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? Yes, she is. She's colorful and everything. Why is it green, though? And who's that guy on the right side of the ship with the flappy ear? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships of my personal fleet. The Shiram Majesty of her hull, the pop of the circus has no... Yeah, yeah, I get it. She's, she's an awesome ship. But of all of all, I can tell you the ship can't... Yeah. Anyway, what was the problem? Ah, uh, yes? Did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. The, the problem is that, that has sprung up. Uh, I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, uh, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off, the dog. Wow. Why would you have a navigator as a dog? That sounds like a bad idea to begin with. The navigator, of course, is the highest-ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. No crap. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Key Hall Key are deadly, deathly dangerous. Well, we need absurdly skilled helmsmen for our navigator. It is a, how do you say, a pickle. No, I don't think the situation is a pickle. I just think it's a problem. It's kind of odd. Oi, Flavio! Are you talking there, sir? If you don't mind me saying, I have a solution. Don't tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I heard talk of a fame. No, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called uh, Admiral Bomberry. A salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But uh, he said to have the helmsman touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. 
Wow, he can make ships bow. <laughs> I see what you did there. Thing is, there ain't a soul what seen him in the seas of late. Wow. That's a boom. Problem solved. Let's scout out for this bummery fellow and get him on board. Um, what, what are you doing? You doing a little jig over there? I don't like that. As is customary, my captain will handle the negotiation. That would be you, Mario. Oh, of course it would be me. Why can't I ever take a break in this game? That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. Sound fair, sir. I'm on board. Good plan. Sure thing. Then it is decided. You must find this bummery and bring him here. A fortune sails with you. Okay, so I get all the booty once I get off the ship. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. I'm not going to complain about that. So, once again, it's up to Mario to actually get Bob Ray and see if we can set off with our navigator. So next time on Paper Mario and the Millennium Door, we're going to see if we can find where Bobbery is and hopefully get him on top of our ship and solve all of our problems in life because, oh my god, we got so many leaks in this hull of ours. <laughs> see you guys next time. Later.